Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing the Airbus Zero E project which was originally launched in 2020. I'm going to be using the official Airbus website as a source today and you can read up on it there too. The Airbus Zero E project is aimed to use hydrogen to power commercial aircraft. Airbus have compared it with electric vehicles in hopes to decarbonize aviation by using hybrid hydrogen powered planes. It was launched in 2020 and Airbus have released two types of technologies in mind hydrogen combustion and hydrogen fossil fuels. Now personally, I don't know much about this type of topic, but I do know that Airbus have always pushed for more eco-friendly aircraft, introducing more environmentally safe aspects during launches of new types of planes. We can see this in the A321XLR as they have used a 30% reduction in fuel consumption per seat. Airbus have noted that in the case of hydrogen combustion, they will have gas turbines that have modified fuel injectors and fuel systems are powered with hydrogen. Airbus have presented four aircraft for us to look at. They're honestly really strange by design. You can see the weird shapes. Honestly, they're, they're very strange. Not usually what we're used to with um, aircraft like the A320, A330, A350. They're quite different. Um, let's start with the turbofan, which the website tells us it has a range of 2,000 nautical miles and seats around 200 passengers. Uh, not exactly what commercial airlines would be interested in, but. Um, comes with two hybrid hydrogen turbofans that provide thrust for the engine to operate. There seems to be no information of the concept ideas except for what they've shown us on the website. So basically, they haven't released much. There's strictly just concepts at the moment of what they're looking at, but that's what we've got so far. Next up, we have a turboprop aircraft. It seems to resemble an ATR-72 aircraft. You can tell it looks, it's a very similar design. Um, Seem to see around 100 passengers with a range of 1,000 nautical miles. Comes with, quote, two hybrid hydrogen turbopop engines which drive eight bladed propellers, provide thrust. Uh, that's from what the website's telling me. Third aircraft on this list is honestly weird looking, although it seems to resemble a B2 Spirit aircraft. This one seems to be able to seat around 200 passengers. It looks to be a commercial aircraft, despite its very strange design. Um, it's got two hybrid hydrogen turbofan engines with a range of more than 2,000 nautical miles. Finally, Airbus have a specific segment for their fully electric six-engined aircraft. This is... Honestly, I've never seen anything like this. Um, I'm just going to read what they've put here. The fully electric concept was revealed in December 2020. It's based on an electric propeller propulsion system powered by hydrogen fuel cells which transform the hydrogen into electricity for a chemical reaction. In 2023, the Zero E teams powered on the future hydrogen propulsion system designed for the fully electric concept aircraft. So yeah, that's something they've wrote here. Um, do with that what you will. It's an interesting choice. Fully electric. I don't know. Honestly, I don't really agree with this. I think if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because Airbus are doing quite well. And this, these concepts are, are honestly very odd. But um, hey, if you have any opinion, please let me know in the comments. Um, what, what do you think about these? Because... Um, I'm honestly really on the fence, and honestly, if I was an airline, I wouldn't buy this. Um, also, according to a Fly Global article, Airbus have pushed back the service entry date 10 years. They've blamed the delay on technological and infrastructure chain challenges. Um, yeah. So far, this sums up um, the new aircraft. They're just concepts for now, but uh, Airbus seem to be very serious about it and plan to start serving these aircraft in 2035. Now, um, let me honestly let me know what you think in the comments, because my opinion, these are these are really odd aircraft, but they're, they're interesting ideas. Obviously, they're trying to um, help the environment. You know what I mean? Um, and obviously, they're trying to do good, but sometimes you have to think think about the actual how this is going to work. Like, how are you going to get these? Um, what was it called? That with the B2 Spirit looking aircraft. You, how are you gonna park that with all the its massive wingspan? I think honestly, I don't think this will work out very well. But knowing Airbus, they're a very good company, and they'll probably think of something. Anyway, that's gonna be all for me today. Um, 
if you if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to um, subscribe and like the video uh, for more aviation content. I do vlogs. I do inf information talking about different topics. Um, just I do anything aviation. Just um, yeah, it's my dream to be a big uh, aviation YouTuber, traveling the world, uh, seeing yeah. Also, I do plane spotting vlogs. Um, and you can check out my Instagram, uh, where I post my photos. Uh, I'm a photographer. It's Polar's Pics. There's two R's. Anyway, uh, that's all for me today. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.